I mean, you can't get better than that. Hey guys, what's up? It's Adrian. Welcome back. I hope you're doing great. So today, we are taste testing the best pepperoni pizza. And I've wanted to do this vlog for the longest time. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year to every one of you. So, let's get into it. Now, first stop, it's Domino's. Now, I'm a sucker for any pizza. So, I mean, you know. So, I ordered already. I got it. And let me try to open this up for you. And this is it here. I mean, you can't get better than that. So, let me give you another close-up. It looks fantastic. And it's hot. So, I mean, I appreciate that as well. So, let's try this. And I'll give you my thoughts. And a final rating at the end. Here is the slice close-up. As you can see, it's extremely filled. And stuff is falling off. It's honestly amazing. I mean, again, who doesn't love a really good pepperoni pizza? So the crust is light. Um, it's extremely cheesy. Um, it's packed with pepperoni. It has a really amazing golden color. The pepperoni is crisp. Flavorful. It's not too salty. Overall, this is pretty awesome. I mean, like, it's amazing. <laughs> now, let's get to the crust. So, as you can see, this is what the inside of the crust looks like. It's filled with air. Wow. So, it has a distinct flavor you can tell that everything's seasoned pretty well you can actually see the herbs that are used you can see the little green flecks all over I don't know if you guys could see that focus come on focus so you can actually see all of the seasonings which is excellent I mean come on so yeah overall excellent pizza I'm gonna finish enjoying the slice now and then we're gonna move on to the next stop. So we have to talk about the sauce. Now, on a slice of pizza, guys, you are not supposed to put ketchup and mustard on your slice of pizza. The sauce inside of the pizza is what you are supposed to have it with. Now, I've had some pizzas that are so dry that you just need that extra sauce, but traditionally, no sauces on a pizza. Just no, 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 no. So, the pizza sauce itself is actually pretty good it's not sour um you get that tomato flavor but you also get that seasonings as well which is great in my opinion um let's talk price um so where did i put the bill okay i am sorry that is my starbucks bill so this is my bill right here focus come on why aren't you focusing right so that's my bill there in total i spent dollars actually so I mean it's a bit up there but it's not that much up there um I had double the amount of pepperoni um because I just think it's best so yeah on to the next stop well I said that already but or I think I said that already I don't know but on to the next stop Pizza Hut um, I did the drive through at Domino's and I'm doing curbside pickup at Pizza Hut as well so we're waiting for it um, gotta pay and we will see what's the difference because I think there's a major price difference between Domino's and Banks yeah. alright guys so we got our pizza total was 90 um, it was a little less than um the actually no I am wrong so 
Turns out Pizza Hut was more than Domino's. Turns out Domino's was 75 and Pizza Hut was 90. So let's see if this price difference is gonna mean anything when it comes to the taste and flavor of this pizza. So we got our pizza. So we did get a little pack of condiments, but I need to point this out. So this was the napkins that I would have gotten from Domino's. I did use one and these were the napkins I got from Pizza Hut. So you could clearly see that Domino's actually gives napkins. So let's open this pizza up. I am excited because it smells pretty awesome. So this is the box. I mean, it's a typical Pizza Hut box. Let's open it up, try and open it up. And there we go. This just looks awesome. I love what I do. <laughs> so yeah, this is our pepperoni pizza. As you can see, it's packed with cheese. And I mean, the smell is, wow, I really love what I do. So let's actually give a side-by-side -side comparison, even though I did have a slice or two from the Domino's, but that's fine. So let's give a side-by-side -side comparison and see who's a bit different or what differentiates both pizzas. More gooey. There's a difference in the size considering the crust. The Domino's one is a bit thinner. The Pizza Hut one is way more thick. Another thing that I should show you guys is when you look at the Pizza Hut, give me a second, the Pizza Hut pizza, you'll see that the crust is way more bubbly. So it's gonna be extremely fluffy. So here's a close up again. I really love what I do. Now let's taste. All right, so this is my slice of pizza. As you can see, it's a bit, bit more sturdy than the Domino's. And the reason for that is because of the thinness of the crust from the Domino's and this one is way more thick. Now, I did order, order. I can't even speak because I'm salivating that much. I did order a classic pepperoni from both places. I didn't order, order tin pan or specify anything concerning the crust. I just wanted traditional pepperoni pizza so this is it here let's taste wow now the pizza itself seems to be tasting excellent now i would say that the domino's pizza is way more filled with marinara sauce versus the pizza hop and I think almost the crust is a bit overpowering because it's very bread-like. But it's still really delicious. Um, I'm now getting that sauce actually. So as you can see, it's kind of peeking through right here. The pepperoni, it has a crunch. No. Let's try the crust because the crust is a really important part for a pizza. So, listen to that crunch. So, I've had the crust and I think it's good. I think it just tastes like plain breadsticks. I think there isn't much flavor, but I mean, it's so light and pillowy and the pepperoni itself just makes things so much better. So, wow. I'm gonna finish having this and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So, for me, I have some things to say about the Pizza Hut pepperoni pizza. No, it was delicious, but there was too much crust for me. No, I'm not sure why. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry again. Okay. I finished my pepperoni slice of pizza. Now, I have some things to say. Now, I'm not sure why I am not as pleased as I thought I was because I love Pizza Hut. Now, the crust for me was way too thick. There wasn't any sort of seasoning um, to give the crust flavor, which is strange. Now, I've never noticed this before. Possibly I would have noticed all of this because I am now comparing what I think or where I think would have the best pepperoni pizza. 
so the crust was way too thick for me maybe next time i will have a a thin crust pizza me i maybe i would have liked it better um but this is just their classic pepperoni lovers pizza i was not a fan i am sorry i just really wasn't a fan of that crust no i love crust on pizza so uh, ugh, you know i mean come on it happens but overall the pizza was good but i preferred the crust on the domino's pizza so there you have it sweet these two pizzas now the reason why i came to domino's and pizza hub because i think they are the best i didn't want to go to a pizza place that i just already didn't like their pizza so that's my reason for coming to pizza hut and domino's so my thoughts let's start with domino's because we went to domino's first so let's i'm just wow so with domino's i think the crust was exceptional the seasoning it was light the crust was not too thick that sauce was amazing the extra pepperoni really did pack a punch it was crisp it was not extremely greasy that's the thing with pepperoni pizza you pick up the slice and grease just running down your hand that's not something that i would particularly like let's get to pizza hut now if you prefer prefer a breadier type of crust than breadier what does that even mean if you prefer a bread like crust then definitely i would say go to pizza hut but for me i just didn't like it and i am a huge pizza hut stan so i mean i, I i'm even learning things here today guys so the pepperoni was great uh it was packed with cheese some spots of the pie was just missing sauce for some reason i don't even know how that would have happened um so yeah um pepperoni about pizzas 10 out of 10 um crust from domino's versus pizza hut domino's get a full 10 out of 10 pizza hut for me 8 out of 10 or like a 7.5 out of 10 cheese ratio i think is very important i would say domino's 9 out of 10 pizza hut 10 out of 10 in terms of sauce domino's 10 out of 10 i would even say 15 out of 10 pizza hut i am sorry i love you guys 5 out of 10 no overall who has the best pepperoni pizzas drum roll no i would say domino's for the win honestly domino's for the win domino's it's a hard 10 out of 10 pizza hut guys i am sorry but they just didn't cut it today i know sometimes with restaurants things tend to fluctuate depending on the day but today domino's for the win it was just that good the crust was perfect it, it was just so flavorful you would think that the pizza hut crust would have been better due to the bubbles the aeration all of that but domino's for the win and i think it's because of the seasonings in the domino's pizza crust sauce all of that so that's it domino's pizza for the win so that's it for today guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe you're awesome for doing that my playlist for taste testing videos will be linked in the description below don't forget to check it out hit us a thumbs up hit me a thumbs up if i deserve it thanks for watching so here's a close-up again i really love what i do 